Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Gaming Terrain. Guys, it's another Let's Build video. Um, if you're new here, guys, what is this type of video? This is a type of video where I take some of my pile of shame. This could be from the Indominus box, this could be from the Imperium magazine, or it could be just something I have in a vast pile of shame over here. And I show you how easy it is to put together. If I find anything that's difficult to build on it, I can let you guys know. This is this type of video is mainly um, aimed at people that are new to the hobby or you start a new army and want to get a heads up on certain units and how easy they are to put together or, or how easy they are not to put together. Um, for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. See you soon, guys. Right, so what am I putting together this on this video? I'm going to go for the Necrons, Necron Warriors. There's ten. Now this is from the um, Imperium magazine. I believe there's twenty to come in the Imperium magazine, so I thought I'd get these ten to put together anyway. But they are very, very fiddly. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a quick look at the instructions. I I, I know this from the um, Indominus box, how annoying now. Okay, so look, we got. Let's turn this page over. Look. So let's say we're putting this guy together. Yeah? Okay, it's, it's body number twenty six. See that? Yeah. You can have either let's have the arm twenty seven, then it's this gun or that gun, with this head or that head, you know, and that body and. You, that you can do it that way if you want. It's very long, very tedious. When I started doing the, um, still very fiddly, even if you do it this way, I I did the, um, the Indominus box. I just took the head, body, bang, aside, and then realised halfway through, oh no, hold on, each body has a specific head and stuff to go with it. So anyway, um, I'm going to give you the show you the kit. This is the kit, okay? So as you can see, there's bodies. One, two, three, four, there's one, there's one, five. There's all the guns. Now, in this unit, they have the option to have the double gun or the single gun. They can have a combination of both, it doesn't matter. Like, not per model, but you can have five with, with double, and five with single, or seven with double, seven, you know, three with single. Scarab base as well. Now the first thing we're going to do, as always, sorry, not knocking the camera, clippers, scraper, and the trusty plastic glue. Now, best way of doing this, I find, as with any sprue, when we look at any new build, is we have a look at it, see, we can see the bodies. These are the chest pieces, okay? Uh, there's the arm. That's lost into the gun. There's the gun arms. And there's heads scattered across the whole sprue. Okay? So we have a little look at it. Have a mental dry fit in our head. Okay, that goes here, that goes there. That's this arm, that's, that's left arm, that's right arm, etc. But with this kit, because I've done this kit before, so I know exactly what I'm doing, you start, I'm going to start with the Scarab Swarms. Not only are we getting a nice, a nice um, miniature sculpt out of the way, because it's very nice, these are very sculpted, very nice, these Scarabs. You're also completing bits of the kit already. Now some of these, like this one here, it's too close to the foot. Yeah, is it zooming in? Yeah, it's too close to the foot. So, as always, cut away more of the sprue. Okay. And I just I forgot to tell you as well, especially if you're looking at this one for the first time, the clippers have a flat edge, yeah, and a curved edge. Always put the flat edge up against the, the bit of the miniature you're trying to cut off. Um, never grab the plastic and, and try and twist it out of there and 
I've done that myself many times before and it's not very good. On the ones I've done already at this, there was a few legs that I just nipped the end off of where I wasn't in the first one I did it was. Right, so let's first scare us from off. I think there's uh, three bases of scarab swarms. Yeah, three bases of scarab, scarab swarms on here. So I'm gonna, there's another one. And these pieces as well, okay, they go with the scarab swarms. There's a third one up there, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim trim these pieces out and get them ready. But I'm gonna cut them out and have them here, okay. See in a second, guys. All right. So I've taken all them out, as you can see. Before I get carried away and start um, cleaning them all up and everything else, I'm going to be just firing a lot of these uh, Let's Build videos and painting videos out over the next 10 days. Because yesterday I tested positive. So I have my, my test today, the, my PCR test today. So I'll be off for the next 10 days. Uh, I've got a terrain build on, on, the, on the go, but it's just because of how cold the weather is here, it's just slowing down every single process of paint drying and stuff like that. And I have a, a very small space in the house where I can bring something up to put it down to leave the heat of the house to dry quicker. And then I have to quick rotate it around for the next one. And anyway, now with these, as with these guys, I've cut them all out. You can see this one here. Let's see that. Just my film can go there. There's a little knob of it sticking off the leg. That's where the sprue was so close. I had to snip fix the sprue away. Just be very, very careful with that. So I think the, the first time I did these guys with the Indominus ones, I um I nipped a couple of legs here and there. It doesn't really matter too much on Necrons. Not for these guys. Even with the warriors, when you put them together, if if one of them looks a little bit bandy, it's not a big issue because there's a lot of um, the sculpts there actually have battle damage on on them, so it, it, they're sort of self repairing, and that's what they do in the game anyway. Yeah, here's the other annoying one. So just try and get in as close as you can. You can see it's a lot easier just to get to deal with this little piece. Than it is when you've got a big massive sprue hanging off. Yeah, there's another little nipple put there. Another little piece. This one is a little bit on the on the back side of him. Let's use a flat edge. Let's get up against it, just give it a little, little nip. Yeah, there's another little nip just a bit on the side there. See it, so I'm going to get in there. Give it a little pinch and just pull it away. You can use this to scrape it and scrape it away if you want. But it, it'll be there for a little while. It's easy to give a little nip. I'm still going to go over with the scraper. Don't get me wrong. But just... Right. So now I get these. Get the scraper. Get a clip of stick with this little nippy bit on there. Oh, we'll scrape. Get 
this one a little scrape. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to do the casting lines. She don't need to be there, but it's like this. Yeah, just give that a little clean up. I mean, that there's, there's very little to no casting lines on these scabs, it's mostly just the little nippy bits. Yeah, see by his back leg there? Just little bits like that, just need to clean up. I actually, I can't even remember the scarabs. I knew Necrons had the scarabs before in like, you know, other editions. But I can't remember the models for them. I think they were little lead models. But these sculpts are absolutely, absolutely amazing. Let's take a second there, guys. Look at the detail on that. I'd say that these, these are very easy to paint. Um, and they're a joy to paint. When you, when you finish painting them, you go, wow. I think my one's only like three or four colours and it's absolutely so quick and easy. But they look fantastic. If you want to see how I paint my ones, go and look at the um twenty four hour painting challenge video I did. And you'll see you'll see them on there. But I mean, don't get me wrong, if you want to see in a bit more detail we can I can do a painting video on them, that's not an issue. But anyway, I'll back in a second, guys. Right, so just clean them up. And this is how easy it is, okay? What I'm going to do, take one of these bases. Um, is it this one that goes in there? I think it is. That just goes in. Get it now. <laughs> just goes in. In you go. Am I doing the wrong way around? I think I'm doing it the wrong way around. I don't know if it really matters, is it? I'm not making it look easy, am I? Uh, it does just go in like that. There we go. That's it. Just push it in. But don't try and push one side in. Push both sides in at the same time. That's it. Now you can put some glue in there if you want to. Don't need to, but I'm just going to just put a little dib just in there along the joint of it. Then, just run it along the top here, okay. And then this bad boy, now these, these are, um, as easy as that. There's this first scare of base, yeah. This one, there's only have two of these little these little novel bits. So I'm going to go to the second one. Just run a bit down the here. Don't put it at the bottom of this. Um, don't put it down here. Yeah. No, don't put it on, on the bottom here. Because it will stick to what's underneath. Just run it along the top there. Okay. So just along the top here. Can you get your base. Can't be looking at glue over. It just slots. See, that's why you don't put it on the bottom because it comes out the bottom. If it doesn't come out the bottom, but it, it gets through the bottom. So, if you had glue on there and you put it down to dry, the glue's going to just stick to whatever's underneath it. So, the second base. I didn't clean this one. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Right. Let's try again, shall we? It goes in there. It goes in there. One, two. There go. Nice and easy. Again, you don't have to, but I'm just going to put a little sliver of uh, plastic glue just in where they slots together and again I'm just going to run it along here so, so when it goes in the base it sits nicely so 
is three scarab bases. I've got 14 minutes on the clock. There's probably maybe 20 minutes to put them together by the time I clipped them out and cleaned them down. But then maybe a couple of minutes, minus a couple of minutes, because I wouldn't wouldn't have been filming, I've just done it. So set them to one side. Right, now it's on to the Necron Warriors. Right, these ones are definitely pieces. So what I'm going to do is, what best way to start this is, if you're going to follow the instructions, then great, fantastic. Just, you know, look for the numbers and everything else. But if you're not sure of numbers, or you're getting confused by the, the instructions, then we'll follow this way. So take one body, okay? Space, sorry, so you can see it better. You take one body, I'll take one chest piece, doesn't matter which put chest piece because they all get used, there's no chest pieces left over. And then you'll take one um, left arm, doesn't matter which one, and you'll pick whatever gun you want. Okay, all the guns are right armed. Now, I will say the left arm, this, this is number two left arm, yeah, but let's just say number two left arm. Just for example, would fit perfectly into this one and this one. It fits in the others, but these two it just fits, fits in there snugly, you know, really perfect. So what I'm going to do is take a body, a chest, an arm of each, um, and a head. Okay, I'm not going to go, oh, this one goes with this one. I'm going to take any one. Okay, I literally will just take this one, this one, this one, and just take them off and put them together. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to snip them off. Um, I'll give them a little clean down, get rid of mold lines. But from what memory memory serves putting the Indominus ones together, only this this little bit here along the thigh is the most of the mold line. Maybe a little bit, you know, there's not very much like on this type of the weapon as well. Just along this straight edge, it's very 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 little. Very little mold lines on this on this sprue. I think there's one or two that do have a little bit, but it's not. If I come across them, I'll let you know. But it's not not that much of a big issue, guys. I see you in a second. So I've taken off all of the parts to make one one dude. There's a few things I want to show you first before we start gluing stuff together. This is the arm, the left arm. Okay, you'll see. There's a little nubble bit at the top, yeah? Just past my thumb. Okay, that slots into that. You need to keep that on there. When you look at it on the sprue, it looks like it's bits come up. It's nice to stay on there. And the little bit that he's holding in his hand, yeah? That has to stay on there as well. The reason why is that little bit slots into there. Okay. Now, some of them have a little half a circle so i'm now a full circle this happens to be a full circle i have to get that little clean on the end but that slots into there now the other thing is the head and very carefully it's so fiddly to hold but as you can see there's a little see the little bit i've got in the clipper you want to snip that off okay The reason why is it's supposed to pop into there, but it doesn't always sit there. But this way you can, you can sit on top there nice. So let's give that a little snip off the end there. This is the gun arm. This is a little bit that goes into, just needs a little bit tidying up. Now, take those, take the guy. And this is one thing I like about plastic as well, because you, you've got a bit of time to mess with it before it starts curing. Put the two arm slots in. Put him down. Gun arm. And some of you are going to glue this together and do it, you, you know, take your time and do this and do that. But I, I go for it all in one motion. There's the arm in. Yeah. So easy slots in. And this is where it starts getting fiddly. So the two arms go in there, okay? 
like the so. Yeah. And then what you do is on the underneath of the chest plate, there's a big hole. Okay, and that hole slots in there. So this is where it gets so piddly. So that goes in there like that. Sort of, no, it goes in there like that. Okay, that's how it's supposed to look. And what I do is I put a dab of glue in there, take the head, so just place it on there. The glue will hold it for a second, and then you can just adjust it with one finger. And what you want to do, so you adjust it with one finger, you see me switch between two or three. I'm going to try and, you don't want to hold the arms or push the arms or anything like that, but you want to try and adjust the head. See, there's a little gap at the moment. You want to try and adjust it like that. Yeah. Then I, what you do is, when you get your glue, so there's a little gap in the head. Just take some glue and now seal it. Okay, that is how easy they are to put together, but they are very fiddly. Now, also when you're taking the body off, you'll see this thing at the bottom. Okay, don't clip that off, leave that on the, on the foot. I'll show you why. Put some glue on the palm of his feet. Okay. Now, when you put this one in, aim... Aim for the aim for the hole. Aim for the foot the foot and bottom of the foot to go in the hole. Yeah. It's sort of a, it's not a circle, sort of a hexagon shape. And as you can see I've got it past the in there. There we there we are. Then what I do is I put my finger on there, just push it in. Then what I do is I'll get a bit of glue, just gently run a little bit around the edge. Now I'm going to grab all the rest of the base, so that you know it doesn't bother me. There's no problem, warrior. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one off, clean it up, ready, and do the same thing again. Okay, just to show you, so you know, it's, so you see it more than once, so you know it's not just a, a fluky thing, but it actually, when it's easier, I thought it would be. But anyway, see the same guys. Okay, so here's the next one. I've already clipped a bit off the head. I've made sure that the, the ends of this uh, left arm are, are nice. So again, glue goes in there. Glue goes in there. Put him down into the little slot for the arm. Get the arm. Slot it in. Okay, so it's ready. Take the body, glue the arms on. Take the chest piece. As you hold, do what I'm doing. Take the chest piece, and this is why I like plastic glue because I can maneuver if I need to. And if it keeps coming off, all you got to do. Get the piece that you need. So what I've done is add a little bit in between. Oh, I'm kicking out of camera, sorry. It's under the arm there where the ribs join. There's a little gap. So just fill a little gap there. The same this side, see it? Just in there. 
the arm. So I'm going to do this is run a little bit of glue. Then fill his head. Again, as I put the head on there, let stick for a second. Then I can maneuver it very carefully the way I want it. Happy about the chest piece, be like that. Again, that's how easy it is. Then just do it along. Sorry, do a camera again. Just along the foot. Put some on this foot. Now I don't think this foot actually hits the ground properly. But it's just to make sure that I've know what I'm doing. I need to make sure that I've got a, if it does hit the floor, then there's a nice little contact. Doing what I told you not to do. Just gonna get a better grip on him. This is so fiddly. But did you get him in? He's in. Yeah. And then I just get the glue and just Run it along. There we go. Did I move that light? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay, the head's coming a little bit weird. See how the weird head, the weird's gone? Uh, head, weird, the head's gone. connection now there's a little gap at the top so what I do is just run a bit of glue along it and as that melts and yes so melts the plastic and the sausage bond together and then when I undercoat it black you won't see it at all just so if I see that see a little gap yeah so when it's undercoat black you won't see that at all it's nice and easy so guys if this video has helped you I'm not going to put the rest of them together because there's, there's 10 in the unit and just see how they are, do them off camera. But if you, this helped you, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications and I'll see you next time.